I just replaced it. Well, I thought you were going to play some music. No. <laughs> I'd make you get your guitar out and start singing. If you have a guitar, I'll do that before the night's over. That's not a big deal. Okay, so let's... Let, that's something we certainly want to get to eventually, Gary. You know. I'm sorry I handed you the watch. We've really gone downhill since I showed you that watch, Chuck. Off season. <laughs> we'll get good shit out of you like off season. And, and uh, I want to talk about your circuits. I, I think I have drills in there. Well, I figured you didn't want the off season thing on there because I thought that was one of the things that uh, you know, no, I have to talk okay. about oh, yeah. in front of film. That's okay. Uh, I mean, we just. Anyway, okay, all right, Do, should we talk about slide a little bit right now? That's fine. I think it would be better before we talk slide if we okay. go into when we start talking coverage because I think okay. it ties all right, let's kind of, we'll, we'll, we'll back one second. What kind of adjustments are you making up front? Like if you have a wing tech, a wing or something? Okay. Or you, you know? That's a good, good question. Now you got all those down there, trade, tap, wing, slide. Trade, he told us what you're going to, you don't re kick it or anything. Big and small splits. Trade you trade you just play which yeah you, we just play you don't preset the three technique or anything right uh -uh. Okay. and really we have we might as well go into it we also have other fronts yeah you got the double out, threes outlaws. outlaws double threes and Tim is which that is more of a one back call double threes yeah. two tight end one back mm -hmm. and Tim uh, is more. Well, it can be any time, but we'll use a lot against four wideouts when we don't know, you know, on a first down when people are running the inside zone and stuff. Tim is a... Uh, double no, twos. No, Gary, double will they twos. stem to anything? Will yeah, they all, that, that's all they do. Is, all, this, all this stuff is moving to it at the last minute. They always line up in something, or they just move around? Just move around. There's never, there's not like four or four guys work together. Okay. So it's not synchronized? No. You're just telling that three technique, he can, he can be doing this. He can be lined up in a three and shift into a two and... Oh, yeah. It's, or and you'll get this in the spring. They'll start clear over here in a shade and a five, and then they'll roll technique over to a three and a G. Oh, they'll do it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, when we're screwing around. I mean, you, you want to... Again, though, when you let them do that to when they're down in your can and stuff, they have a good time with it, and they they think about it more. Tim, is two twos. Correct. But playing, uh, playing the same way a six does? Yes, no different than a G plays a regular two. So the the, the two eyes or are they two eyes. head head up? Okay. Now where's the, the, uh, yeah. the okay. thing like this from the first? Again, you can aim and twirl and do everything else out of that call. Yeah. Just like outlaw. But you call. Yeah, you can do the same thing, right? So if you did a twirl and it was a list call. Yeah, you loop. Yeah, and slam. Yeah. You just end up. The right side got loop, and the other guy's a slam. Whereas in a tight G look, they're both loop techniques. Yeah. Now you Tim is a front, or you'd add that to field. No. Tim, or yeah, field, field, field G Tim. But outlaw, you wouldn't say. Field no, just there. outlaw would be by itself. What well, you could put Tim by itself, couldn't you? Well, you could put. Yeah, you could. Is there any reason? But the care, here's the kicker for us: is we call it. You could call split G Tim. You wanted the three technique and the G on a certain side. Oh, uh, okay. Just like well, you can do the same thing with outlaw. You could call split G outlaw. Yeah. Okay. But it wouldn't be split G. It would be just split outlaw. Right. You wouldn't need to call the G because you're not playing G. It's a split outlaw. So yeah, you, you add the front call if you if you want to tackle to a certain side. Correct. And really, sometimes that's what it comes down to. Where do we want the good three technique play? Mm -hmm. We run. It's been pretty good for us, particularly against strap teams. We run a what we call a gate from two twos. We both slant to the V of the neck of the center. And it's great against zone teams, too. Because the backside guys, oh, if the center goes here, he's coming right off his ass right there. And then uh, if it's a pass set, we turn it into a, we turn it into a twist. Yeah, you run that with a 5 and a 9 mode zone, too, don't yeah. you? Which you're, you're better with that. Yeah. With the, in fact, Mark, before I came to New Mexico, when they were a, fifth, when they were a, a weak eagle team, uh -huh. They did that quite a bit and caused them a lot of problems with it. Sure, they played play both on the yeah. center. They wouldn't play on the guards. They both played on the center. Yeah, we both no, and it's a good idea. Yeah. Well, you'd have to have, you, you say you got to have a fuck, you'd like a five to a tight end. So. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't, I don't think you'd like to have it both on the center with that with that and a um, six. But, but again, we're going to get into a power call. I'm going to talk to you about a power call okay. in a minute, which means we're going to play a five. Okay. 
That's our ice squeeze. Solid. No, that's our solid. Our powers. Yeah. When you when the linebacker is going to play nine and you when the uh, but you can be a split and eagle on the other side, right? Yeah. So it, you'd be a nine, a five, a shade, a three, a five. No, we never reduce down. It's always on a tight inside that we do that. I mean, when I call power, it's always going to be a safety tell on a tight end. We would never play an end down in the three. Oh, no. That no. tackle would be in a three technique over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this tackle over here could be a shade. Yes, it could. Yeah. But right. again, for me, power doesn't mean anything. Power is just talking to safety. I could call that power call a split, With tight, anything. field, and boundary. It don't matter. Okay. Power is going to come with the coverage. It's not going to come with the front. I'm going to yell power. I'm going to signal power. And to he the moves the end down? Yes. Down. So again, we're not going to mess with the front so six. Be, okay, gotcha. I mean, it could so be. One time it would be squeeze, another time it's split. Well, yeah, I mean. Another time it's. I mean, obviously, tight. I, I mean, they don't like it when you, you can move down late to this. Yeah. See, this guy had, starts here and see. We had, see, we had great success with that front right there. Well, that's a hard. I mean, three you can't much, there's not much you can do to a tight inside or a tight end running team if they're a three and five and a nine. Because yeah. they can't double the three. Right. Well, they do. A, they team, can. But teams do double three against us, and our five. You know, it's it's nice. up five. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we talked about trade, right? And then, uh, how about if the tight end uh -huh. gets up and taps across, Gary? And you, so you're in a, you know, you're in a uh, six technique to begin with. We don't care. Okay. If we we you make back we down. make what we call a tango call, because our offense is doing it this spring. You're going to see it. And what we're telling the end on the opposite side, this end's going to stand up. We're, it doesn't matter what front we're in. Okay. okay? Let's just say it's a tight right now, okay. so we got tight and tight G. Okay. This end's going to see the guy off. He's going to see tango, tango to the other end. And what we're going to play against them is we're going to loosen up and we're going to play a loose six. Okay. Because we know there's a great chance he comes across. You said across. this guy's going to stand up, though? No. Oh, okay. No, he just, when he comes up, he sees the guy off. Tango, tango. He sees this guy standing up. All right. The tight end's the off. The guy the lined up. And then step back, he'd yell, tango, tango, tango. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And that guy's going to widen on the other side. Only yeah. affects the other end. And again, that's a game plan, but that's what we use at this point. Okay. There may be somebody that we don't want to do that to, and we'll keep the guy down tight. But right now, that's what we're doing against our offensive spring. The next thing I got here would be slot, which that is right there, a tight slot. So he's going to treat him just like he's on the line of scrimmage in yeah. terms of his alignment. And if he came across in a kick-out path to the end, and he was just, he was killing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just like it was a tackle pull. A wing doesn't really affect you because you're a six. But if he was in motion, I'm sorry, Chuck. If he, if he comes in motion across, it stops at like the tackle and then tries to kick you out, am I going to come underneath him? Yeah, if he tried, if it comes and this guy stops and yeah, he tries to do yeah, this, then yeah. I'm going to come underneath him. Okay. If, if they line up in a wing, the first thing we will do is we, that end will move to a nine. He will move outside shade on the tight. He last? No. He will just, if you come over and you line up in a wing, if you just started right here, he will line up on the outside shape. Regardless shader. of what's inside of him? Start right off, right off the bat. First thing we'll do, that's what he's going to do. Okay. What do you got? Because you could have a double bubble in there. Man. Yeah, and you that's could have a, I mean, we have a slide, and usually we're, you know, you can get big and everything else. Let's just say you got that tackle there. It's not in a three. He's in a shade. He would have got a G well, call to begin with, a yeah. loose call. Yeah, it would be like this. Okay, so now you got. Now you got to remember, people. always when you do it, you're going to have people out with it, but. If we're getting hurt inside, all we got, all you have to do to it again is, I'm just saying, first base way we do it, he lines up in a, you'll line up in outside. If you're getting hurt inside, then you tell him, no, we're not going to do it. Okay. So he moves move right back to him. But the first way, that is the way that we're going to do that. How about you, with your tackles and, and your G's, if you're getting big, big splits in there? What are your split rules? Inside, we'll, we, on the tackles? Like, say I'm a tackle and I'm a three technique and my guard's really split away from, from the center. Not really anything because no one will ever do it to us because we run our linebackers so too much. Okay. I mean, the only people we get it from is Rice. I and guess if they're small point. splits, I'll, I'll just wonder, like you do with your nine technique, if it's a wide, you know, if he's wide, I'm tightened. If he's tight, I'm wider. Do you do yeah, it, what, yeah they, in, in that case, like if we were one back, uh -huh. They were one back. You're getting wider. Then you're not going to get us. You're not. You're not going to keep getting on the tip. The the wider you get, if you get the wider tip, the heavier technique I'm going to play. If that's what you're asking me, that is exactly what okay. you're going to get. All right. Now, um, erase that and draw this up. You got. Uh, give me a tight end. Mm -hmm. A guy inside of him. Tackle. Then the center. 
Okay. Okay, then three linemen over there. This is a tackle. And this is yep. Yeah. All right. We call that what? Ted? Ted. Uh huh. You're gonna get. You're gonna get. You're gonna get. And you got, then you the got tight call. eagle call. We will. We will call the top. We will call the strength to the three three man side. Okay. And this has nothing to do with coverage again. No. Nope. Your numbers of blockers. Two blocker side, three blocker side. Yep, you give us to us. You may get us the per you might get us the first time, but that is that is our basic adjustment to that. Okay, and if obviously it was a tight end was on the other side, you got no problem. Like that would be a little different for us, so we need to think about it, make sure we remember that. Well, you know, it's different for them too. They're always calling it to, if he said tight eagle, that guy might initially think, oh, I gotta call it Liz, I gotta call Liz, but he's gotta see that it's a three man side on the other side. He might initially we still say, go, we still go. would have called it Liz and then slid. So we, but that was old. That was old. Stuff. This was past year. Yeah, it had nothing to do with this thing. Right? I know. I'm saying that's new. So it won't be a problem. This is the way I used to run this thing. Right. Okay. Once again, now the linebackers are getting their calls off of this sheet. They're getting uh, 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 tight. Let me see. Uh, if you just wanted tight aim fire, you'd go tight, and then you'd go stunt uh, number ten, whatever the hell you signal that, right? Yep. Okay. And then the linebacker's going to come up, and he's going to say rip or Liz. Correct. On everything, rip yep. or Liz. And if it's split eagle, he calls the Liz a rip to the split side, right? He don't say tight. He don't call the tight end side. Well, number one, he doesn't say tight eagle. No. No. All he comes up and says, if there's a split inside over here, he's, if, if here was a tight end and there's a split in, he says Liz. Yeah. Okay. He's all, basically, all he's doing, because he's not <laughs> talking the ends. Right. He's talking to the tackle. He's talking the tackle. He's just telling the three tackle. Okay. Now, they need to know where the rip or Liz call it. Everything in our slant package is either to the call or away from the call. Now, tell me how this works, and I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I got this on my arm here. Mm -hmm. It's on the linebacker. All right. I'm not saying, I'm not reading out bullets. Uh, Outlaw, blast, split, because everybody's looking at it, right? Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not saying anything. Nope. I'm looking at it, and then all of a sudden, I might put my finger on it so I can remember what it was. Is that correct? <laughs> and then I'm going to see what? here they come up. <laughs> what? What are you ain't going to do that? <laughs> He's giving me a bad time. No, I'm not. You ain't going to do that. You How's that work? Remember it. You're going to get the call. You're going to call Liz or Rip and run the play. Run what you Right, doing. that's what I'm saying. I'm going to say Liz. You don't have then, to look back down after you say Liz or Rip. Why well, I got to remember what it was. No, you just, as soon as, the, as, soon as you get, because the guys aren't coming, they're, they're, hopefully we've got them before they come out of the huddle. They come out here, they see tight G number four, which is tight G. But nobody's four. saying that out loud. They're all looking at it. But, I mean, we got the three technique I'm talking about that's got a chance to be an All-American type player. His ass won't wear contact. He won't. He we got to we got to make him work contact. He don't want to work contacts in the ball game. Okay, but nobody's telling him this no. call. He's looking no. at it himself. All he's waiting to hear is whether or not he's, if I'm an end, whether I'm on the call Ripper side Liz. or away from That's the exact, side. That's exactly okay. right. Ripper Liz. All right. All right. Now, now, tell me, really, and what the difference is really is is do does the linebacker tell him? Or do they read it? Yeah. That's the difference of huddling and the linebacker tells them what the call is before they read it. You read it. You're exactly. Right. Now the difference the difference is in it is a lot of times what happens because you can read it because we don't have to huddle is they got a lot more time to see it all. And that is the difference why about six years we change it because the first team that we're playing go that we're gonna play of the year is a no huddle offense. Okay. Well so we worked on it for two weeks and then we're gonna go back to huddling and the kids go <coughs> Because uh, now, because our you know secondary doesn't have to run back the huddle anymore. Okay. Their safeties are standing, but the corners are out here, and these guys are all looking the same. You're thinking right. wide. You're probably going to give them a wide call right off the bat. You mean coverage? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, coach, I, you know me. I'm not very smart. This going to be something that has a lot of common sense to it, or we're not going to do it. Every reason the watch is even the way it is, is because of common sense. Because I used to put, I used to call blitzes one word blitzes. What happened was, is if you ever the next week if you didn't if you ran a different blitz, you had to give it. You had you only get X amount of reps. The reason that watch is the way it is is there's so much overlap teaching every week because it really doesn't ever change. There might be something on here you haven't called for three years. Could be. You might not have called uh, take nose. We only ever. we no have the thirty only yeah. we only probably in a ball game only. Okay, all right. I'm kind of getting off the track there again. 
All right, I told so you she never gave me that watch when we started that's out. How, okay. Thank All right, Jim, well, anything else we need to know stunt-wise? Because really, I mean, we, we run a lot of these same stunts and our techniques are very, very similar. And You don't really want to get in the cover package yet, do you? Not right this second, because that's, oh yeah, it's coming up next. Okay. I'm going to stay away from slide. Well, do you want me to talk about a power call in? Yeah. Okay, yep. The way we call a power call is it comes in the coverage. Where's power on this little thing? It's not on there because the front never okay, has gotcha. power call. Okay. Now, okay. if you want to build it into a blitz, okay, yeah, then where the call good. side guy knew, the, the tight end side guy knew he was going to be down in a five, then we would put it on there. But, in fact, I brought, brought a U.S. somewhere. I, I have to find him a deal, a USC thing, because on when we played USC two years ago, we had one where we had a power call built into a T-Dogs blitz. Okay. Because we're going to bring the five technique underneath. Yeah. But power calls call in the coverage. So the way, and I'm going to draw up a one back because most of the time I teach out of a one back principle. And this is the hash. If I call one power, so I call power, it's going to happen. When you call a power call, obviously you've got to be in a shell look because you've got to move the safety over. You can't be in a robber look to do that. You could be in a man free look. A three shell? You can, you'd have to be, no, in a four shell. Okay, cover two. A quarters or, or a squats and help. Gotcha. Cover two shell. Okay. So if I say one power, that only talks to strong because he knows he goes to strength the passing formation. So let's say you call a tight G. Okay. Liz, strong, we come up here, call is blue, so we're playing quarters. Okay. Power, wide, blue, solo. Come up, safety says power to the end, nobody else has to know it. He goes down. Now I don't play, my safety are not my linebackers because they're not 6'2, 240 pounds, or whatever. So what we'll do if this is if this is a if this is a tight end, I mean 190 power. Our guy, outside linebackers weren't six two two forty either. I'm yeah. talking about in a fifty defense where you used to line up head up on the guy and hit him in the mouth. So when we move him down, if that's the ball inside, we'll actually have about a yard outside, we'll be just like this. Same as we are. And the kicker for them to understand is nothing changed just their alignment. If we call blue their quarters, if they're the slide player pass shows, they drop. Run shows, we will wrong shoulder anything. We will fit over the top of it. With well, the line. So that's not based on oh, the Oh, you even wrong shoulder a uh, near pull? I will. <coughs> now out of this, you know, you get, now you get all the other stunts that you get into if you want to, but. Now how about if you didn't say, um, do you always have to call that with wide? How about if you hadn't said wide? Wouldn't matter. He would have did it here with this formation. Strong side. Right, here, here, let's, use a, let's use a two back set because there's only one tight end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, put the tight end in the boundary. If I only gave, gave a power, we'd have no power call because the strong, the power call only would have talked to strong. Now, if I wanted, I knew there was a two back one tight end set. I wanted a power call wherever it was. Right. I called double power blue. So now, since I called double, double power blue sky. Yeah, could be. So you now the weak safety would do the power, uh -huh. and you could call field with. Let's just say you call field. So now you got field eagle, blue out here. You could in shade with that other tackle, right? Half. Huh? In shade. Could yeah, because I didn't call a G. Okay. Yeah. But when he go, when they check, they wouldn't check loose. Don't need to check loose when you have when you use a power call. But who knows that? Well, that's one. He has. He yeah. tells these guys. Power, 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 power. Now we're moving down. We don't need a loose call. Working with that corner, he's going to spill So now again, you're not you're not you're not formation in me because I can control that. Let's just say I didn't want the strong safety to power at all. I want to play uh, Robert in the field. So all I did was weak. I call. So I have a power. I have a double power, and I have a weak power. Weak power tells only him. So they came up in a pro set. You'd have no power. Mm -hmm. yeah. They put twins in the back. They came out in twins. You'd have a power. You got a power. power. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Again, I'm controlling it by secondary. I'm not control letting these guys control it. Okay. If you got no. power on, what would you do versus the reach block? That nine technique. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to pin it just like an outside linebacker. He tries to reach me. I'm going to try to squeeze oh, it. So just you, like when you say you're spilling everything, you're not. You're not spilling. No, no.
No, not reach. Only, only down. How about okay? Right. Only down, reach. only down block by tight end. How about a okay. tight end down block and they pulled the front side tack? Would you still try to spill that? How? Depending on what they're trying to do. But if it was like playing in Nebraska, yes, I'd come underneath because of the give. Okay. Now it's hard playing somebody that runs the option and doing some of that because then yeah, you're in no win situation. The option. That's why we stay outside the front side. Now, I, if you're getting that, probably we would we would probably try to fit the linebacker underneath and hit that guy in the mouth and play outside and play quarterback. Right. That's what we do. Now, so that corner has no. I mean, he, that, here's that's a, no different than three yeah. run support. So plus. here it is, tight. Here's tight G blue. Okay. Here's a double power call. They come up flanker. Tight G blue. Yeah. Tight double G power. Or let's go. In fact, let's go. You want a six. You want a six two. Tight G Tim. Mm -hmm. So you got double twos. Right. And I call blue sky. Okay. Double power blue sky. The safeties will walk up to the ends. No telling power on both sides. Now, what Willie's saying now, that doesn't become sky anymore. Back there, it becomes read. Now it becomes a read. It becomes a read because of, of the power. Of the power. power he, anytime he's in a power call, he is a quarterback player. He is a read player. He's pitch. Who's the read player and who's pitch? Read corner. Read half. Oh. Yeah. Not even Park Art block. He's. Yeah. He's. Uh, yeah. Just How regular read. Huh? Regular read. Yep. Just out of curiosity, on your read, if that tight end blocked down. And that fullback arc, would that weak safety stay outside of it? No, we would we would quarterback play it the first time. Yeah. Now, what you and I talked about, we're going to see it about the third play of the scrimmage. Okay. Here, mistake on my part. When I was talking the other day, our offense came up in this, and actually I think it's pro. Well, our rule is anytime you're in a power as a safety, you're a quarterback player. Okay? Well, the free safety forgot that the guy was in the power. He was expecting when they arc the strong safety and blue coverage because in our quarters we're going to read the fullback. As an arc. Yeah, and we're going to go up. He was expecting to go up and he didn't go up. He just stayed because in the power, if he was just regular blue where he's kept like this, uh -huh. he would have read and gone to pitch where he was expecting to. Well, he didn't. So he stays too tight and the guy cuts him, mm -hmm. which was my fault because I forgot, I just assumed that he would, he would know being a senior player, but he, wrong assumption. We learned a very good lesson. Do you guys keep track? Of, uh, do you keep track of missed assignments? Obviously. Oh yeah. In and fact, what, I'll show you my grade sheet because I got to grade it before Monday. And what percentage? Do you yeah. keep a percentage, an allowable percentage for missed assignments? Well, what we do is I do two things when we grade, because I and this is what we've been doing for probably about the last seven or eight years, Chuck. We grade critical plays, and then we we have a technique and a, a alignment. And the reason that, and that reason that why we do that is, if you're going to be in a scheme, <coughs> as a corner, for instance, you know you play a run team and they grade 95 percent, but they throw, they throw one touchdown and get you beat for a touchdown. That's the only time he got tested all day. Right. Well, he was 0 for one in critical plays. Okay. He did not play well. Because okay. when it happened, that was his job. Mm -hmm. Okay. And sometimes it's throwing all day, and you've got you've got a lot of critical plays, but that's what we grade on. So like. A winning grade for a safety is 60%. Plays at you that you're supposed to make the play. Throwing, running, whatever. You make the play, you get it. If you don't make the play, then you, you don't, so you're three to five. What makes a critical <coughs> play? Like, let's just say they run a, uh, let's just say they run like a, uh, any play that goes long ends up being a critical play, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. It's if it's, you should have made the tackle. Miss tackle is a missed critical play. Okay. I mean, so miss tackles fall into that. It doesn't make touch touchdown. Sixty percent grade just on critical plays. Just on critical, which is that's six. You have to so open field tackles. You got to make six out of ten. For safety, that's sixty percent is what you consider to be a good game. Well, no, that's that's you to win with. You can get sixty when my guys are really playing well. It's usually eight out of ten. Okay. When we're playing real well, you're usually about eight out of ten. Now you're talking about playing good people, and we're talking about every do you pass. Have, do you have a copy of what you? Uh, yeah. Do you? Yep. I brought how we our scripts. I brought uh, practice schedules. I'm I probably gonna have to get a copy of all that. So. But but then I put a tech. Then I also have a. So in fact, here I'll show you. Here, let's see where it's at. Here, here, here. Look right here. Grades here, player. How many scrimmage plays? How many special plays? Which it, that doesn't happen in the spring. Comp grade, which that's the technique.
critical plays and then a critical grade, attempted tackles, unassisted tackles, and all the different things. We call it MTXEs at the end down here, which that's a little toughness, extra effort. That's when a kid makes a play, what you're going to see in the Northwestern game where our, our linebacker gets an MTXE because... That's what now we call Hercules. Yeah, where he runs a guy down. And see, what I do is I take a grade sheet like this. Now, he's already got the calls on it for, from the scrimmage. Okay. Let me see what that grade, let me see that. Because you're grading your guys, there's no front on there. Well, there is a front. I'm just not going to grade them on the front. Every defensive coach gets that call. I'm just going to look at zero fiddle press. Oh, I see. And That's see, what I'm going to put mine now is I'm going to put strong safety, free safety, weak safety. Okay. I'm going to write their name. But then we're going to go down, and i got big enough box. They're going to get a plus or minus, which that doesn't mean anything. Okay. Plus doesn't. That means they just did their job. They get a plus with a circle, and then they're going to get like a fumble recovery, or they made a critical play. If they get a minus, it could be a critical play. They could have get a minus for technique grade, but then it's not a circle minus for me. Which means it's not wasn't a critical play. Yeah, I mean they're just not technically sound, or they misaligned. Yeah. They might have got cut on the back side of the play, but it wasn't even affected. He get a, he might get a minus, but it's going to be part of his assignment grade. It's not the critical play deal for me, because here's a deal for me. My safety is supposed to be seven by three in robber coverage. But if they go and do exactly seven by three, we're not getting what we want out of the defense. I mean, they're always up here watching, showing smoke. They may end up at five by five uh -huh. or something because they're moving all around. Okay. So really assignment is more, now if he's supposed to be a half and he's lined up at eight yards, uh -huh. now that's a minus. Yeah. I mean, there's some things that just are minuses. Okay. Now our offense has what they call drive stoppers. There's minuses and then there's drive stoppers, meaning whether it be penalty, missed assignment. Drop the Third down 18, you, you dropped the 20 yard gate, you were wide open. Yeah. This is great for the critical play. I never have a problem with who's, who plays. Because, they, you know, it used to be, yeah, before big. I started doing that, it used to be, Coach, I grade 95%. No, yeah. you graded 595 for well, and you technique. Know, if you all remember, that's, remember what my grade sheet looked like? <clears throat> yeah, it had that section in there where you got, you know, you got your technique and your assignment grade, but then if you had, uh, you, you remember what it looked like, didn't you, Kyle? The one you had from uh, Pitt. Yeah. That what I tried to do with Gary, where you, you, you graded a guy on, if he had, uh, I want to say we used the word critical too, and you, production grade. Mm -hmm. That's really what that is. It's yeah, and if you made, you had a critical error, you know, you got you got minus four points on there. Oh, you had a point system. Yeah, we well, had a point yeah. system where yeah. a guy could literally that, get all yeah. pluses and yeah. alignments, techniques, and if he got beat on three plays, his grade was going to be shitty. You know, because well, it was off. Well, that's game. what being honest. That's what football is about. Yeah. Without yeah. a doubt, but once, yeah. And that's well, that's what. And Fran never had any argument because his his whole thing is about productivity. Because one of our goals, we, we went away from finding the top two, 22 players. Our whole thing is finding the playmakers, period. We don't have one in here, but. I know what you're saying. You had, that would be like our you contact had, you had, ratio. You had, it's like our contact ratio. Because <coughs> yeah. here's a corner. A corner gets beat. They say he plays 10 plays where they throw 10 passes. He plays good three. Three he's beat, but they never throw it to the guy. And then you've got three other passes where it's thrown right at him. Does he get a chance to make a play? Well, he might have got a minus because he was beat, but he didn't get a minus. He got a minus technique because the guy beat yeah. him, but he didn't throw him. I mean, and that you know as well as I do, that happens. He does. There's not. They don't. They don't get beat. Now, key is, did he get beat? Make it critical. Would it made a difference? Yeah. So is it critical if the ball, if the ball didn't get thrown? It's not critical. No. No. See, that's now. Production, that, that makes so much sense because right. the guys who, you're right, sometimes guys. <laughs> well, we, we started doing it at Ole Miss. We had some guys who literally had bad technique. I mean, they may get reached a bunch, or ran around behind a block, and play. made a whole bunch of tackles. And who do you want to play, the guy who never got reached but didn't make any tackles, or the guy who showed up? You know. Well, now, everybody does it different. My whole thing is, I, I believe guys get paid. And all of it all comes down to what kind of player you have. And that's, again, one of the reasons we're in our system. If, if we're bad at three technique, no matter how good the kid is, it's not going to change. So I better have something in the system I can give him a chance to be successful. 
or that three technique coach knows a great chance he's asking to get fired. But I'm not a guy that walks in and we start watching film as a defense. And okay, look, let's look at the left defense end. Then we go to three tech. Come in. What's the problem with the defense? Why didn't it work? Okay, and I feel like probably the same way you do. You got you got guys. They get paid to do their jobs. And here we go. But if they're doing it, then I'm running Toro or tanks, or I'm trying to help that guy out. Because whether I like it or not, whether he's not getting the three techniques stopped from being reached, or we're not getting the corner in the inside of stopping the post, I better find a way for that guy to be successful. And again, I go back to what this defense is about. Now, obviously, the better technique you play and all those things, and we start out from the very beginning teaching it that way and doing everything, but that is not something that's dwelled on, except we know that we need to be good at it to be successful. Can this system work? Uh, this is a general question. Can somebody literally just call the coverages and somebody literally call the front? That's all Bump and I did. The way him, and that's being honest, that's how the about best. You, how about if you want to run a smoke? No, what, what happens is, is he, he when it came to blitzes, there has to be a guy that, now I will say, he say, I need to blitz. Okay. Okay, what do you I'm think? I'm blitzing. Coach, it's like we're playing New Mexico. Here's a great example. We're playing New Mexico State. I'm, do, you know, I do the cut-ups, four square cards. Now the GAs do them the way we used to do them. Long time ago, you know, we're right there, four squares on a, on a card, and then we cut them up, and then you do them by formation. You do them by. Oh, you to do your yeah, the way you used to do it in Kansas you State. Still do it like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. And I was noticing on my cards that the back always blocked to tight inside in one okay. back. They were all one back. Pretty soon we got to look at him. They didn't notice, and pretty soon protection we found out. So we run S dogs all night, kill them. You know, we find if you don't find it there, then you find out later on where you need to come from. But that's the way we would. That's the way we do it. But Bump, when him and I worked together, he lets, lets, then I called a secondary call because that's all I thought about all week right. myself. Right. Man zone, how I'm going to stop things by personnel, what calls I wanted. And because we did that, when we'd get to wherever we went on Friday, whether we were at home or away, we'd go in as a staff. We put on a game tape. He'd go tight G. I call two blue sky, for example. Okay. And then as they came out night backs, I said, okay, we check sky. Then the next call he made, Mike. Now it's third and ten. I call zero fiddle rebel double. He's got a man bracket. He had called a twist. Now if he called a blitz and it needed to, it was an eight man, then I knew I had to call a zero cop because we needed the end playing man on the tight end because we're bringing both linebackers and both safeties. So what happened was, I just, when it came to blitz, I matched up with him. I still called the bail and the press. Now, when he was at Houston this year, he called it all because he was the only guy that knew the system. He had three new coaches and didn't, had never worked with him before, so he made the front and the coverage call. But when him and I were together. Sounds like you do the whole thing at TCU, though, too. Well, yeah, but what happens is, like, we get in third and ten. Stan, tell Mark what cover call you want. And then I call the coverage with it. Or before third down, I may ask them what blitz, if, and no, we because we're on a four-way headset, uh -huh. they make suggestions. Now I make most of that, but if Mark says, you know, Gary, they they haven't they haven't blocked, they're not blocking the a gap because he's watching what everybody you know watching their own specific things they need to watch. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but I mean, it's where we're at. If you you ask me what would be the best system, the best system is that you have one guy thinking about how to stop the best run play. And the best pass rush, and one guy thinking about the best coverage. That is that is the ultimate because being honest, I can't I can't do all of it. Mm -hmm. You can you can unless you just have down you have perfect call already right in front of you. You already know how you're going to call it. We got two, but it's, that's what we do five days a week, not on Saturday. But you might have went all you one day one day and fire with slide, got the game and changed it, and you might went you might have decided to go. Go split GA and fire instead of tight GA and fire. Slant the other way and play slide. So you went back to playing tight G. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that's what the flexibility of this sec, this mm -hmm. deal gives you. You just got to know how to, in your mind, be able to go to it when you when you want to go to it. Okay. All right. What uh, are we ready to move on to coverages? What do you want to talk? About? Slide goes with coverage, right? So. Yep. I, mean, I, I understand power. Mm -hmm. Does everybody feel understand power? Yeah, now, so we would never, good. unless we game plan, we'd never power a wing <coughs> for us. So if you had power called and it came out in a wing. We wouldn't like, we, we wouldn't, the safety wouldn't say power. We wouldn't say power. The other thing we would never power is the offset backs were too tight inside. The He's, offset backs were what? Like a near one. Oh, to you? Yeah, he'd just leave this guy on a six. He, he might.
he wouldn't put him down in a five and a nine. Why is that? Well, unless just to not get out leveraged. On a fast route. You know? Yeah, fast route, or you know, you get down at five and nine, you're, and you're talking about. For us, we don't do it because I don't play in a five and nine as much as I play in a six and an outside. If I was a weak eagle team where I did that a lot, these guys were a lot. We work a lot more. You you work a lot more blocking schemes with with this look. For me, I I work a lot more blocking schemes. That's all schemes. I worked. That's all we were. We were yeah. Line techniques. So. so that's why we didn't we didn't ever fit that way. We wanted we because of four, the four two scheme. We're, we're gonna. Yeah. And most of the time we're moving over like this. So he didn't say power. It was all hard joint by that guy. There was no spill there. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Okay. Even in quarters, that guy wasn't reading really it. Safety we have a power. Even blue. It, now, if, if we're in blue coverage, when we're like this, this guy's the free guy. Because this guy can get over the top. See? In robber coverage. The other way right there. They're hard jointed robber, but in quarters, they're going to spill it. So in blue, you read it. Blue's automatic read? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll find that out when we get into coverage. So let's, let's move into coverage. And did you guys think about where we ought to eat? Uh, what? Great Lakes Shipping Company. Okay, which one of those is Great Lakes Shipping Company? Huh? Yeah. We had talked about Great Lakes Shipping Company and Keontes, but yeah, that one looks like it's wounded out pretty good. <coughs> Gary and I ate at. Uh, I'm not hungry. Right now. I, I don't like you know you don't have to, I'm not unless you're hungry we don't have to go anywhere. Gary, I, I, well, Kyle might be willing. I'm, I'm fine. Gary and I ate until like two o'clock, so okay. But well, what we should do is. We should probably go to less in the crowd. We should probably go somewhere around eight. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, here we go. Coverage. Now, you teach it the way you is best for I'm us gonna to teach, learn. I'm going to teach it the way I teach players. Okay, but let me ask you a question now. Okay, I'm also, also teach it the way you, we're going to install it because the way I looked at your installation sheet, it looks like you do a lot of single call on the first day. First day is exactly what we do. We don't do any double call on the first day. Okay. In fact, we don't do any double call on as far as two blue on the first three days. Okay. And I'm not going to call blue quarters. Pardon? I am not going to call blue quarters. What are you going to call it? I'm going to call it soft read of two. Soft read of two? Okay. And the reason why, because our check roll is our quarters. I mean, to me, quarters where you're not reading anything, you're, you've got two on we get a trip set. That's our deep check. Right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at your installation sheet here as we go to here. Should have robber, roll, sky, freeze, and zero on the first day. Silver and three. Yeah, silver just because of bullets. Okay. All right, so what, what are you going to start with, two? Yep. All right, now what I'm real interested in here, Gary, is I'm here, I'm interested in base alignments. Keys, um, uh, and then you know we kind of got to you know any well, general rules that go. Well, first thing you got you got to think about is you, you don't ever think about a full formation. Okay. Like, because you're only going to do half a formation with the way you have your read and the way side. There's only three types of formations that your guys can get. They can either get a pro side, a twin side, or a trip side. Okay. On the read side, you cover two. If they come out twins, the safety is going to be outside in one. The safety is going to be outside eye. And again, you get a pro side, a twin side, trip, trip side, or a trip side on the read side. On the read side, well, that yeah, side yeah, yeah. but you can't get a trip side on the away side because that would be the read side. So right. on the away side, you can only get a pro or a twin. Right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Away side, pro or twins. You get pro or twins or. Oh, pro meaning just a single, single receiver. receiver could be a single receiver. Gotcha. Okay. But I call this a pro look where it's a tight end wide out. Can I get a twin look? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, I'm okay. You. So you hear read side read. Here he comes out. Free safety says it. Two reading left. Okay. Okay. He echoes it because he doesn't say read side. He just says two. That's what they're playing. Two reading left. If it's a twins, one back, five yards off, outside shoulder of of. Five yards no. off the man or the line of scrimmage? No, off the man. Okay. I did, yeah. And let's go back one thing and make sure that we understand this. And I'm going to say off the man. I'm going to 
And number, number two, because everything we do in our system, we count from outside in. And this is even going to count for man coverage. Okay. Okay? And that always counts as three strong, not as three weak. Okay. Gotcha. Okay? So he gets a twins look, one back, five yards off, outside eye. Okay. Unless he gets a wide split, then he's going to move back inside. I mean, you know, the ball in the middle of the field, the guy's light up in a decent split. If he gets way out where he knows it's run, it's going to be a run split. the hash is wide outside the other hash for you? Yeah, it would be. That's probably a really good split. If he gets anything outside the hash, that's wide. Okay. The biggest thing we just see, you, it's one of those things, you again, use common sense. You can kind of tell where they're running routes out of. And where they're where they're running the football out of, if they're giving you any kind of that kind of thing. If you're on the read side of a pro look. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go back to twins. Okay. Stance. Stance. Line of scrimmage is the table. Stance. Here's the wide receiver outside eye turned in at a 45 degrees. So you're almost square. like a squat corner. <clears throat> Old kind squat of. corner cover too. Okay. Yep. Why do we turn in? Why do we turn in? Crack and good leverage angle. Yep. Did you say five from the man? And what the, what you'll see a lot of times with them, again, going back to things, and you're going to watch and you're going to have to play what your personnel is and what feel comfortable. If it's third and ten, it may be five yards off the line of scrimmage because what are you playing? You're not, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I'm with you. Now, the whole thing is, and I, I tell you, probably the best thing, if you because you get guys off and on when you teach it, it's probably best to say five yards off the line of scrimmage so that there's no doubt where the guy's lined up. So if you get guys that do like this, and one guy's at two, <coughs> one guy's at three. Right. So five yards off the line of scrimmage is a better way to say yes. it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Corners always one by seven inside of number one. Wait a minute. What's, he, what's the other guy who's keying? He's keying an end guy on the line of scrimmage the ball. And the end guy on the line of scrimmage is, is pre-snap. Okay, we always read quarterback. Key end. LOS pre-snap, okay. All right. Next key is quarterback. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Anytime in cover two, you're a flat player. You're for the strong safety is a force player, which makes him a pitch player. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. You want me to go to the other two? Well, I don't know what the best way to do it is. I mean, I teach that guy right there. I mean, I, we, I may end up teaching all three safeties and Willie the corners. We haven't made a decision on that yet. But, um, okay, so, I mean, at some point i got to learn what his drops are. You know, well, I'm gonna get, I'll get to all that. I'll, right. Just like, just like, I, so why I make a young, you're doing I'm going to do this. I'm gonna, just like I make a young guy do it, I'm going to give you stance, alignment, assignment, read, Responsibility. Okay. So, which got part stance. of that is this key? Is that what you can huh? read? Yeah. We'll just call that key. Okay. So let's just go here. Stance. We'll turn it in at a 45. Outside eye alignment. Outside eye at number two. Okay. Five yards off the line of scrimmage. If it's two back. If it's one back. I mean, excuse me. If it's two back. Now he will be anywhere between the line of scrimmage and three yards off turned in because now he has he's got more chance. Of being a, a primary force player. Okay. One back, five yards. Two back. Line of scrimmage. To line three. of scrimmage to three. That's a little bit like what Bob Pruitt taught. If you guys remember it, because yeah, that free safety is going to get a faster read. He does. Okay. He does. Okay. And the other thing you got to, the whole thing I, I come back to saying, you, it's a scapegoat, but I'm telling you, split inside running plays are not a big a deal with us as what other people because of the threat of this guy. Okay, I'm with you. I'm just, it's See, different. That on, like on play action, that wouldn't make it hard for a free safety. No, I know he's our, whole rule, our rule for these three guys yeah, is don't talk about the free safety what he's reading yet. Well, it, it, but we're going to read quarterback too, yeah. but our whole rule is don't go till you know. And you're going to get a chance to see on film, you're going to see his eyes, both of them. They're going. They're not going to drop. They're not going to do any run reads till he clears the second back, both of them. And you're going to see even in the scrimmage, this guy make the zone play at the line of scrimmage. Okay. This guy is much of a split end cutback guy. Is what that guy is. 
It's like Les Cannon said, you know, he's used to people playing quarters and seeing this guy, this guy outside, this guy outside. Mm -hmm. What I've, we've done with the system is try to get the best of both worlds. Always keeping a natural leverage player and still being able to get both guys to party. Okay. okay? All right, one back, five yards, two backs, line of scrimmage, or three yards. Yep. Okay. Again, because of what you have. Okay? Now, if a strong safety gets, a, and I'm going to do both of them, I'm going to put these guys in sequence because the corner doesn't matter. When we get a twins look, and this is the way I teach this when I teach my players, I gave you his alignments to twins. His alignment is 10 to 12 yards off the line of scrimmage, okay? Splitting the difference between the tackle and number two. Okay, so he's going to split the difference. There you go. Okay, thanks. Right, Stance to is going to be flat foot, squared 10 up. 10 to 12. This is one back or two back? Makes no difference. For him, it makes no twins. difference. The other guy. Down and distance. Down and distance will predicate that, and you know if, you, if that guy knows that guy's and he's square in the line of scrimmage, just like this. Okay. Thank On the snap, he will not back up; he will shuffle. King, the same thing. And the LOS pre-snap. Yep. yep. To his assignment is his assignment versus run is he is an alley player; he is a quarterback player. Right. Okay. If pass shows, going back to both of these two, if pass shows the read side safety, which is mostly the strong safety, is flat right now. Swing deep of three. What's that mean? Swing deep is a term we use in zone to tell you you have a man responsibility. It tells you you drop your zone. If that guy runs through your zone, you have him vertical. Okay, so what's, what was his, what's his drop look like there? Flat. As soon as the pass shows, what, I end what, up. What does flat mean? And I open up, and I'm going to get the flat. Okay. Right now. Is the flat so, numbers? Flat numbers? No, we don't that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. No, because corner, we're going to go back to everything that people read. The corner is telling us China, in or out. Okay. Right. Because in the China <coughs> call, China means man responsibility. It means you now are running to number one and you stand beside his ass because I am sinking. Okay. To help with the corner out. If he gives him an in call, an out call, let's just, just go so you get it. Because the corner's not responsible for the 10 yard out. Okay. Now out, out, out. Now he takes, because when we open, he takes a peek, he will now run underneath it. If he gives him an in call, as in a vertical and a dig, okay, and we won't get into the corner here yet. Now I started out and I hear in and in, I will I will squeeze down as long as I don't lose leverage like on a one back team that would be flare to the back, right. dig with a vertical. Am I finding that guy and just trying to yep. scoot him in? Okay. In fact, I'm going to show, I got half zone tapes so you can see that. My so. original thing I'm telling that guy is he's flat, and then how do you say the th number three thing? I, I don't try to, be honest, Chuck, I don't try to coach him. He is, he is, he is the flat player. Okay. What I mean is, where, where, who, whoever's in the flat, is there, if there's a guy in the flat, then I'm underneath him. If there's no guy in the flat, then I'm finding somebody because there's an in call. Okay. If this guy does not hear China, in or out, he assumes there's no short route. Now I can start looking around, doing whatever I need to do. But what was the part about he's carrying somebody on the wheel? Okay. Swing. Swing. Swing three. What's his, what's his yeah, shoot, what's his what's his target for the depth there, Gary? Eight to ten. Okay. Again, it also goes back to are you a three, five, seven man? <coughs> yeah. I mean, what? Seven step right. Okay. What swing deep? Because no, you're going to ask me what it means. Well, I know. The reason I'm a, what I'm going to say to you is. Is is why it's going to be different in a second. Remember, this guy is the read side safety because the free safety is reading to his side. Okay. okay, that makes him swing deep at three. The reason we do it, and even willing because we get into quarters, we don't ask this guy to run with the wheel of this guy. Two reasons: because we're leverage, we're leverage. We've had people. If if you make him responsible for the wheel, of number two, and also tell him he's the force player, they want to stretch. Yeah. Can't do that. Plus, okay. And you can do it on this side because, okay? So what happens is he runs flat. Now, the other thing that happened Vill Villanova did is now they play action. Now they're running three in the flat. Well, if you're a 4-3 team, a lot of people, this guy would handle it. Right. Well, yeah. he don't do that. He's our 4-3. He's our Sam. Okay? So if they're like sprinted out, see, he would be the pull guy. So he has to be the guy. If the guy ran the flat and run through the, ran through the curl or the, the flat, he handle That's what swing deep means. That is the third third play. Third Great play. side safety has swing deep at three. Gotcha, gotcha. Now. No, just one second. I'm just gonna get. Go ahead. 
that can certainly, at some point later on, that, can, that, could be, that could be the weak safety, could it not? Yes, in two back, they change the strength motion. That's why it's reach safety and away safety. Okay, so all yep. I'm saying is, if Willie ends up coaching all four of them back there, you're going to have to know this too. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. in, in the way this goes, <clears throat> you might have to two. check with you what he said. At, it, got it on film to take two. At, if they go here, right. all this is is two read and right. Right. Okay? Right. Now, he swing deep at three, and he is now swing deep at two. Now, we haven't gone to the wayside yet, but... Right, okay. Now, let me just step back a second. Okay. And I'm probably driving everybody crazy because I'm, I'm the old dog. Okay? Well, Sounds like we need to get film out here each time we teach you coverage so you can see it easier. Well, uh, no, I want to know how to say it because I've been accused of not saying the right things to these guys. Not these guys, but my players. Or, you know, it shows up on film. Anyway, but long story short here is when this breaks, okay, and you're playing two, all right? Run that, shows. That, that free safety is, he's the only one talking on that side. He says, read, two read and left. Two read and left. Now, does that Sam out there, that strong safety, does he start saying sky, sky, sky? No, he's always an understood sky. Okay, all right. So when, gonna... But he might echo two to the corner, you know, loud crowd, whatever, two, two, you know, we use. We use hand signals like everybody does. So they don't make a support call, that's what you say. They no, not on, not on the read side. Okay. Not on the read side, we never make a support Two call. Two read and left, I'm with you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, if run shows. If you did motion, okay. what, what would happen? All, all that would happen here is the free safety go from read and left, check well, two, read and right. What does he say? Check two, read and right. Check two, read and right. That's okay. it, period. Gotcha. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay. Run shows, force pitch. Alley. Alley quarterback. Gotcha. Pass shows. Pass shows. Read side safety. He's flat right now. Three. Three. Gotcha. Free safety. Robber rule. Robber rule reads this way. Exactly the way I make him verbatim on the field. So they don't have to think about it. Vertical number two. No vertical rock curl to post to one. Say it again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Vertical two. Vertical two. No vertical. Rob curl to post to one. Vertical, two, no vertical. Post of one. Rob, say it again. Rob, curl to post of one. Curl to post. Okay. All right, that's just all regular old Rob. Yeah. Right. Now, that's drop back. Let's go back to the run a second. Okay, go ahead. What happens if the if, uh, that inside receiver cracks on the free safety? In cover two, the corner's already told in cover two, he is, he is, the, he is the quarterback player. If, Cannot. In a crack situation, because they're not supposed to be able to crack our strong, because his back's turned. Okay. In cover two, the gen first rule is cracker corner on places. crack rules, and cover two has quarterback. Gotcha. All right. So I just wanted to know it. Go nope. ahead. Pass. Here's vertical, a good question. Vertical two, number two, no vertical, Rob Curl post, number one. Okay. Okay. Now you ready for a pro alignment? No, no. Crossing route. Okay. Drag or, or uh, anything, anything that goes up to eight, his vertical clue handles it. Okay. So if the guy goes cross around Your under our five, offense runs a whole bunch of that right there. Let's it go. Looks to one. Looks to one. Okay. Cross so it. if if number two does in or out underneath underneath eight yards, okay, okay. I'm looking to one. Or the no, which is what the rule said. No vertical. Which vertical starts at eight. And this is a game plan thing for us, depending on where they run the routes. But we'll say at eight, eight to ten, no vertical. Rob curl to post to one. Okay. okay. So outside route now, outside route now, outside now. Since we're talking about pass, the first thing we cross around, the first thing we got to go back to is we've already said what the corner says. Yeah. Now we got to say what we got to tell you what the free safety says because on an outside, whether it's a, a wheel a route or an out. Yeah. The free safety says, wheel, wheel, wheel. And this is the only thing he's telling the corner. When he sees that. When he sees it. So here he is. I'm standing here. Let's just say they faked it. Let's say they play action and went away. It's the yeah. hardest thing. Okay? Yeah. I'm the free safety. Here's twins out here. I split the dip of the apex. So I'm the free safety. I'm sitting here. I read run, so I go just like this. Then I see pass, pass, pass. I snap my eyes to two. He ran it out. Wheel, 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 wheel. What am I telling the corner? Only telling the corner two things, and one of them is not the deep. That is not what he's telling you. He's telling him first, you have an outside route by two, and second, you have curl post help. 
So what does that tell in the corner? I can get my eyes to, even, even though I might still squeeze, because this out not generally may not be running up. So here comes the post, and I'm, I'm back here, and I see this, and I'm squeezing. If that guy never comes up, but I, because of the wheel call, I'm still squeezing, but now my eyes go back here. So if he stays on and out, this could end up being double. Okay. If now the guy runs wheel, wheel, wheel right down, now he comes off. For his safety, now is reading hips. So I come back here, wheel, 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 wheel. The guy comes up, he sinks his hips, I start driving right at him. I'm going to drive right at him so he goes hitch and go, I run through him. If he doesn't, right at the last moment, I step in front of him. Okay? Try to make the pick if I have the opportunity. Now, he doesn't sink, he steps and he goes to the post. Big point. Here, I don't see, I start opening up, I don't see the hips going, I'm going to go to the post. Do not run at him. What we do is we take a point and we run right back to the goal line. You hit, and I've got it on film where the guy will run right back here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go cut him off. Because if you do this, they will beat you all day and then tomorrow also. And that is not hard. And then once I get there, I'm now just looking to play hands and. I just, now he's man. Matchup zone, now you're a man. All right. You won't ever have that corner backpedal for outside leverage once number two disappears, no longer threat of a vertical. <clears throat> Outside leverage? No, we'll always play inside we'll leverage. Always, be inside. always protect your post because you don't know if you're going to get you're going to get help from the free. We're going to make them try to run a post corner. The post is not should never be the weakness in this defense because if you line up four yards inside the guy and make sure there's no post. Okay. Biggest key is don't is don't don't allow. And that's what people that's what people think because you're holding the safe the same as quarters. Right. All right. Fact in three step. Three step. Don't go till you know. Break it on the ball. Biggest thing I want this guy to do is I want him to is break. Is he going to get a China call from the corner? If if he got a hitch. Yeah. China, China, China. Biggest thing if depends on how far this guy broke. But the biggest thing you want him to do, young players want to break back at the receiver, and we want to try to we're going to try to take that away. We're going to try to step in the passing lane. And then if we don't get it, revert back, because now he's breaking back. What about boats? What are your, your boat pickup rules? Okay, well, now Chuck, I only thing I'm going to tell you, this is one thing I'm teaching. I would have never gone through everything we just didn't talk about if I was teaching my players. First thing I would do is teach them a pro, a twins, and a trips alignment. Okay. okay so, the reason I go on all this. Let's do that then. So, I put it up like this, okay? And then we'll get to what you're talking about, and then we'll come back to booth. Okay. So, twins alignment, right side, I would have told them all. Obviously, I'm not talking to the corners. Okay. Don't have to, but they would have been one us a second here. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'll always tell you these three, okay? So, one by seven, except if the number one gets outside of the numbers, and we will never cross the numbers. One by seven off the man? Or off the, the man, unless he gets outside the numbers, and we will never cross the numbers in Robert. So we'll be clear in here. Now, how about if he takes a real short? Then you'll come in and play, your, play regular. If it gets real tight, you'll have to decide what, by game plan, sometimes you might be head up on him. But you're going to have to decide as corner coach, if they're doing something like that, where you want them to be. Check coverage, check coverage, though. No. Okay. Now, not in this, because usually we'll go to robber coverage if they get tight splits. Like, if they get in cover five, they get real tight splits to try to outflank in squats and halves, we'll go to robber coverage, because if you get tight, our rules get wide. Okay. You get wide, we like to get tight. Okay. Tell Jimmy. Huh? Oh, let's say you get started. Like talking. most defensive line coaches, he's knows more about the secondary than us old secondary <laughs> and I, I, I'm serious. I don't mean that negatively. Now, twins alignment, if we get a twin side, obviously we talked about one by seven, we talked about where we talked about the strong safety, we talked about the free. That's right. If you got a climate, strong safety, you were seven by three, turned inside, seven wide, three deep. Okay, hold Free on safety goes here. to the guard.
You know what I'm going to say? Huh? Next thing down. Next thing down. Because he couldn't find one. Coverage package. Make sure you're so fed I'd start, I'd start. start on Tuesday. Huh? Make sure you're FedEx, FedEx on Monday. I can do that. When you get back Sunday, so on Monday, FedEx it. Would you say the strong safety is line was the Seven by three outside, in guy on the line of scrimmage. And in this case, seven it's a wide, three. Seven wide, three deep. Yep, turned into a 45. You say, why are you playing so wide? What we found out with these guys, you used to play them in tighter. And what happened was, toss sweep, for example, happened. No restriction anymore. What happens is you, you got guys running up the field which you didn't want to teach them in the first place, and you're in a terrible angle for three step. So what happened with the seven by three is you now are in a perfect angle for toss, and you're also now in line of flight for three step. Popping my feet. No delay. Don't go till you know. Okay. Same key. MA line Don't move. Pre snap, quarterback. Okay. Run happens, pitch. All right. Run happens, quarterback. Run the banana from the guard. Okay. Eight by ten off. Okay. Eight by ten off the guard. Three. Eight by ten. Wait a minute. Eight to ten, you mean? Eight to ten. Eight to ten. Off the guard. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Same keys. MA line scrimmage, pre snap, quarterback, and then to two. Yep. Same same rules, it just now it's a tight end. Okay. Okay? Same pass rules, everything. Correct. Everything's the same. Everything's the same. Okay. Now, swing deep to three. Okay. Nothing changed there. Swing Not, three. Nothing. Okay. Same now. Let's let's go to the white side of this. All right, no, so nothing changes there. We're everything's no. Pro and twins, you got it. We're going to go to trips in a minute, but we're not going to talk about trips yet. Okay. Side, side. Now, just for you guys, we now have a reach side linebacker and a west side linebacker. Doesn't you matter what the front is. You want to cover that reach side linebacker first for Kyle before we go to the west side? Yeah, well, I'm good because it's going to take two seconds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> reach side linebacker, pass shows. Wait a minute. All right, that's down. This is whether it's twins or pro. Doesn't matter. Reach side. I am I am middle drop vertical three. Okay, so I'm middle drop. Explain what that means. It means if you fit yourself off, you, you're, he's going to drop himself off in number three. So okay. he's just going to be on the top, right on his width, right? In this case, here's three. Okay. Three sets up. I'm setting up. Okay. Now what I become is we become we become wall players, especially with a two back type situation. <clears throat> so if he doesn't do anything, just like you taught a four three linebacker. This was an outside backer, and this was the middle. Mm -hmm. I opened up, now that became three. Yeah. I'm going to sit myself off of it. Okay. What you shoot for depth, Gary? Really not. We want the guy to be slow because the middle drop the guy is our technique. hard draw player. Mm -hmm. He's our hard draw player. He's our hard screen everything because he doesn't have to be anywhere in a hurry. In fact, we have found out if that guy, especially versus two back, the slower he is, the better off he is. I think Gary calls it. Uh, Card around. Card around. So that's kind of what he's doing. He yeah. doesn't need to go anywhere, right? Alright. Okay. So we we've now handled we've now handled the reach side. Alright, wait a minute. So if he verticals, we know what we're doing yeah. for sure. Yeah. Right, yeah. How about if he goes the other way? <laughs> goes the other way, I just open and then middle drop. I don't chase anything. Okay. Middle drop. I'm now looking for something. Could even be from this side crossing. Just that's what the middle of the field. Let, let's no. just say they right middle of the formation. Okay. And be field tendency. Go ahead. Let's say if they run that route right there, you're talking about tight end hooking up over the middle. Am I dropping over the top of him, or am I walling him, or you're not? You're gonna let him sit up underneath you. If he goes deeper, who's handling? Deeper, who's handling? Safety. Safety, because it's a vertical. Safety, it's vertical. Yeah. So this guy comes in here at ten. He's got it. Okay. So you're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna jam him. You're not gonna. What's is there a level that you? He he would he would do something. He would make him go if number three worked outside. Now that became. That became, he's right. going to open his wall because the vertical went this way. The guy tried to come in here, he will try to always, if he tries to go to his level, he will always try to make him go over the top. So if I sit here, they play action. I stepped up to play the run, I opened up. Here he comes at me. My three's outside, so now he became my three. I'm going to wall him, and I'm going to work him back into my zone, knowing in robber coverage, at least for this instant, the free safety's got him behind me. So anytime he goes behind the linebacker, the safety's got him ready to play. I always go back to... Man-to-man -man zone basketball. 
When the guy has the ball, somebody's got him man. Everybody else is zoned off. Okay? Goes and match goes and match up zone. Okay? He's coming in my zone, I got him man. If he don't leave my zone and I don't have him vertical, then I go back to zone. So if this guy comes in here and trying to work behind me, I'm gonna work with him and wall it. If he works in behind me and he keeps going, after I do it, then I'm gonna wall it off. Okay? So right now over on this side of the field, you've got a flat, you've got a curl player, and you've got a middle drop. This is what it's going to end up looking right here. That's half, half of the zone here, of the 500 2 deep. Okay? We call this corner, and we'll go back here because we didn't get a chance to talk about it, an inside half, and that tells him he's in zone, man-to-man -man club one. Inside half, this is what we, what we call half man, right? right. Which is, is it in your zone concept? Yeah. Yeah. Then that you could use, I mean, right. yes. What that's telling him, we'll go back out to a twins look here. If they ran the dig and they ran the vertical, mm -hmm. and he's giving, he's working, and he's getting, he gets an in call, this guy, you know, we give him a depth also, just like we give him the free safety. Right. If he does not get, a threat to the outside, then what he is doing is he's going to dig back legging on there. And the first question from anybody I've ever heard, what happens if they run a 10-yard dig and they run a 15-yard corner? Well, we don't ever get it. Well, not only do you get it, but you even get it less when you can bring four from the side and you play man. Yeah, right. But that's, you know, that's, that was my last corner. Go ahead. Well, because the guy was down the field, that free safety just running. Yeah, he just, does it just, does exactly right. He's on the zone. He locks up, he rides him, doesn't he? After eight. Okay. And the post, I mean, the post corner. Post, I mean, the post and the uh, corner around by the slot. <coughs> if the post first time they did this, we would stay with what we had. Right. Okay, stay with what you had means what? You'd stay have your vertical. vertical. Okay, they're both playing the key yeah. Now my answer, if that's your answer, is to go to cover five, which we're going to get into this package as we go. And then you play a half and you play a squat, and then that looks right. stupid. Now that's a little bit of a tough route for that free safety. Card. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But it's also, it's, also, it's also one of those situations where, again, once we, get, once we get into this, well, once you get into as long as you catch them, but again, you'll watch, you'll watch our cutups. Not only one team tried to run that last year. Okay. That's why. All right. I'm with you. But any, again, you're in a man, you're in a man clue type situation, so right. they're going to try to beat man routes. Right. So once you find out, one of the thought, the whole deal with us is, man routes play zone. I mean zone squat and halves, three deeps great for that. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. How they trying to attack you? Bracket is great for that. Yeah. Man free is great for that. Okay. But again, okay? Mm -hmm. So you already understand that. So I don't really need to go into it anymore. Now, the, the big kicker for us, Willie, and you, maybe you have it, is again with the wheel call, that always tells him he has to lay off right. because he's going to get the robber. Right. Any outside route by number two, we never play number one hard. So right. if you got a dig with a wheel or an out, even with an out, even with an out, he would he would stay back because he's got this got a chance of doing that. Right. Right. If things gave it to us, gave it to us the other day, they tried to go curl with an out and up out of out of the sprint. Right. We only see those on scrimmage days. <laughs> when, you, when, you get that, that, when you get that route right there, when you get that route, is, is Dennis coordinating right now? Yeah. You got the guy left. Yeah, he, no, he's always coordinated. Oh. He's never changed. When you get that route, that outside, uh, the outside linebacker, your flat player right there, he's gonna look up. He's gonna look up one. Or is he gonna try to collision well, that, that flat? Well, what happens is he, he's in if he gets an in call, but he's he, gonna, you know he's gonna fit between it because of what he had. Right. What we're expecting him to do is to show up. Right. And him to do that. Right. Yeah. Okay, so that's a good rule. Sprint out that front side back. Always pull. We call the chain. And what happens is you got to link the rope between these back three guys. 
Slain. He's taking his place. He pulled the chain. This guy never crosses the hash. Backside safety. Ever. That's the away, that's the away safety. And I think even on film, I have, I have what we call perfect drops. Every time we put in a coverage, because we do so much matchup zone, you ask the deal about where do, I, where do I drop on the field. Again, that's why I put up here uh, how these guys fit. Kyle, because middle of the field really is directed <coughs> on where they're at and what, what, what they're trying to do to you. If, what we, if we were just dropping hashes, this is the way these guys would end up looking. This the whole thing would look like right here. When we do a perfect drop period, right. what he has to do is he has to feel and it's going to be different on the hash than it was if the ball was in the middle of the field. Gary, I hate to do it. I want to take you back one more thing on alignments. Okay. I want to take you back to Reed's side. Yes, sir. FIB. Formation in the boundary. Okay. Whether they twins or pro. Free safety never crosses the hash. Okay. And in cover two by itself, and this is why, and I get to this usually on the way side because then you, you understand it. On the away side, the weakness of, the, the, the weakness of, there's two weaknesses of robber to me. Number two, on the wayside vertical and post corner routes because you're playing inside leverage with your corners. So that is the only thing that's weak. Don't tell me the wayside corner, the post, the weight because you don't have any free safety help is a weakness because you line your ass up somewhere where you can't get beat on the post. Okay? Virginia Tech lines up at 10 or 12. Yeah. I mean. That's what we used to line up. Two by 10. But I don't think they would like, myself personally, I don't think they'd like doing that in the whack because they just short game for us. Two back, two back stuff, I think it's really good, but if you're going to play it against one back, I think that you're, you're asking for it a little bit. Myself, that's just an opinion. That's not meaning it's right or wrong, just well, an yeah. opinion. That's what happened in Washington against Michigan and Rose Bowl a, year, a couple years back. Now, well, so, here's, no, the, here's the problem. No, he's on the hash. He doesn't go to the guard. Gotcha. So he says two read and right. Okay? Anytime cover two by itself, and usually sometimes we even do it, we will make a freeze call. He will come up saying two read and right, and this is why he has to do it. Pass shows, he becomes like a 3D player, but everybody else plays cover two. Really, the freeze call only talks to himself. It reminds him to tell him, you if pass showed, that I am not robbing in the boundary. We're getting the short side. Hopefully, the linebacker can help us a little bit. Yeah. And the reason we do that is because of that. Okay, so freeze is never a call you make. It's a call that he makes on FIB. Yeah. And it basically means he's playing middle third. Yes. But he's still going to flat foot first for the run. Yeah. The run shows, and as soon as passed us, he just flat footed, and he's, he's right there. He's going to protect the linebacker. Now, I probably in 10 years have only had maybe, t I bet there's only been 10 freeze calls made. Why? Huh? Because no one puts us in the boundary very much. Not with two. We were a formation defend team, and we see formation in the boundary all the freaking time. You make a wide call. Pardon? Because I go wide too. Now he's reading. He's reading in the field. We have. I mean, we have field calls. Hey, he can say wide too. He say he say wide too, and they never read to the boundary. Right. I mean, very rarely. I mean, if I don't want this strong to be over here, and I'll make a wide two call, and then. But I don't well, really like that. Into that. Into wide, yeah. Into wide, yeah. Yeah. But we don't. We don't, the reason we do it is because of that. I guess my point is they don't get much in the split backs. And the reason I never have to worry about all of it is because I never have enough calling cover two by itself. I want to go back to one more yeah. thing, too, on a run read. Okay. Say, say, say you got the read and left. You got uh, the twin set over here. Okay. When can, my, uh, when can that strong safety out there turn this guy loose? You know, a lot of people run play action into the boundary, you know, I mean, real hard run. Boot. Or just you know, boot back out to this number two. He acts like he's blocking, cut off, and then back out to the field. This guy? Yeah. Like this? Yes. 
here's what, well, first off, we go, you can, boot rule is just totally different. I, I always get to it at the end. And this is what it means. Is anything we talk about one with the free zone with the free safety applies to drop back game, play action, we straight back. And I'm going to show you in our diamond what we teach in what we call diamond drill. And that diamond drill is when we set just like you would if you were in a two, two deep thing or a two back thing where I'm going to have two tight ends, I'm going to have two safeties outside, three safeties on the guard. And I'm either going to toss it, tell this guy to take knee like he's blocking, see a force, alley, cut back, or I'm going to boot. Three safety, shuffles, sees action. Now sees quarterback going sideways. First thing he has to do is he has to look to his vertical. Pass shows. Vertical, number two didn't go vertically, ran it out. Don't care about it anymore. I now teach him to look back for second level. And that second level might be, which is what our offense is doing right now. Sure. Corner, squeezes over the top. Weak safety, curl flat, swing deep to two back here. He now is looking for anything coming out the backside, never crosses the hash. Now, what do people do to beat Robert by itself? And do that. If you were Robert by itself, that'd be a hell of a call because you don't have anybody back here squeezing it down. Because you got you made this vertical. Because you got a handling. Right. Well, I would have some corner help there too, right? On the corner, yes, you do. You just don't. You don't. By rule. When he goes to 10 yards until he goes there, <clears throat> you just don't know where to do it. All right. Now, let's say you get, uh, say you get run. How, that's strong safety. What is he responsible? Is he only responsible for radical bounce? No, I don't want FIB. I just want old regular old. No, I'm giving you twins just okay. like you had before. Yeah. I'm forced. You're forced. I'm going to so play away. So play away. Okay. Plays so away. Cut it back. Yeah. Slow, slow pursuit. This guy play goes here, shuffle, shuffle. I am cut back, late quarterback. If option shows anything that shows inside, I'm going to handle. Okay. He is just this. But he's not. He doesn't have to run with two through the vertical or anything like that, does he? Or I mean, no. rotate back to the middle. No. So that safety's got to. No. My guy's not that. You're going to see that guy's not very fast. Okay. Right? And it's not his job. You're a gap control defense. Move that twin guy into a tight end. Okay. All right. I'm three by seven out there. They run inside zone away from me. Yep. I got a six technique here. Squeeze the C. All right. And slow, slow. back cuts all the way back outside that end. My job. Okay. So I, I like and this it. guy will actually show up back here too, and you'll see it in the film. Gotcha. All right. Go on. Go ahead. Because see what happens is he's going to stay slow because he's a go don't go tell you no guy now. Just what I just told you with linebackers, mm -hmm. my guys are in a lot of trouble if, if in play action you even see them move their feet. Mm -hmm. They're play action to two backs, even a two, which two backs far harder to me than one back is. They're two back run reading, I better not see them go anywhere. Okay. And now, if he hands it off, we, here we go. If he doesn't, I didn't move, and now I'm opening pass, 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 pass. Let's go back. We never talked about what the corners read. Corner's looking inside for three step. Okay, so so uh, pre, does he do pre snap and the man and the line yep. scrimmage? Then but it doesn't matter, right? but it doesn't matter much to us except for he knows it possibly going to be passed okay. because he's never he's not run support. Okay, so he's reading quarterback. Mm -hmm. All right, so he's working. Pass shows. Is he shuffle one out. No, or? read. We call read. We call read back though. It's real easy. It's supposed to be real slow. I'm different than a lot of people. I, will, I really like when wide receivers break your cushion. Okay. Because I believe it's the same thing with anything. It's like man press. When you can let them break your cushion, you can take a side away, they can do less to you. Now, not everybody believes that. But it's like, for me, it's like Jim Dickey taking us out there 100 times and playing cover four or playing three. <clears throat> the guy's running to the, run the curl or standing in the curl, which you defend better. And for us, what I want to do is I want the guy to come into me, keep good inside leverage open, and play one side. We don't. We so if you're trying to take off, I'm opening two. Yeah, always. If if I am on, if I don't have a number two like a twins, uh -huh. 
I can man turn it. Okay. If I have a two which can threaten me vertical, I always have to zone turn it. Okay. Which in one back you always have that you always have that problem. Right. Zone turn, zone turn. So he's outside, balls inside, here he goes. Pin, I'm gonna open and I'm gonna pin, just like you teach. That's all we same thing you probably say. I don't know if you would use the word pin. We're gonna oh, we're gonna fade. And we're gonna play him so I can get my eyes where they're at. Okay. Okay? Even if he had a short even if he had a short split, there's a lot of room between me and the sideline. Okay. I'm zone flipping, gotcha. I'm trying Yeah, to because if he top. runs an out route to the sideline, he's making an out 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 call and that's not his right. job. Right. It's the safety's job to get underneath it. Okay. When number two when number two no longer is a, a threat on a vertical. He goes away Man from eyes. Right. Man what? Man eyes. As soon as you don't have any other, then you play man as well. All right. Wait side. Oh, wait. We didn't finish with FIB. I want to know what the what, 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 I'll wait till you get back to, to first wayside side normal and then wayside side FIB. Okay. Wayside. side. Way side corners. Again, one by seven. Don't cross the numbers. I got pro or twins back here, right? Pro. Oh, I get. Yep. What's this initial guy's lineman? Seven by three, weak safety. Pro oh, look. Goes tight end or off the tackle? Either. Pro look. Single, single receiver or a tight end wide outlook, which I call a pro look. Belly button to the ball again? Yes. Same yeah. as the strong. Gotcha. Now, the difference for him, though, back here, if he gets an upside tight end, he can line up. He can move up here to three by three or whatever it is because he doesn't have a receiver like a twin set. Okay. Is that what you like, three by three? Uh, just depends on the player. And is he still belly button to the ball? Yeah, turned in. Okay. Corners alignment now becomes in, and he's, depending on the back set, anywhere from the inside to the outside, to the outside shoulder, depending on the back set. How deep? Uh, seven. Seven. The back set offset, we probably want to play outside shoulder. Against our offense, we often play outside shoulder because we get so much loaded option back there. Against I teams, usually we'll play this guy inside because now he becomes a field player. Now, is that sky support there? Yes. Not read? Nope. Unless it was a power call. Only a power call. Okay. Is there any particular reason why you uh, turn him in, close him? Uh, oh, just, just to get it, I get them turned in for just a simple reason is I get them turned so that when if run shows that they're already in a, they're only in a position in order to come at that angle. I mean, I've coached, you know, we used to coach where this line of scrimmage we used to be turned out where you were shuffle, shuffle step. Kansas City State. So I mean, that's what we used to coach. Which either has their positives. That's just always the way we've done it. All right, so now, I, all right. How about that linebacker? All right, weak safety, is he doing the same thing as the free safety? Same exit angle, same drop, listening for an in out China call? Yeah, except that now he has swing deep a two. Curl flat because you don't have a curl player over there as far as the free right. safety is concerned. Swing safety. He's, so he's, he's flat, in out, China. Curl, what's it say now? Oh. Curl flat, swing deep at two. He's not swing deep at three. Oh, so he is curl flat now? Yeah, because you don't have a free safety now, so he, he works more inside out. Okay, so he's curl flat. And what, tell me exactly what he's there. Well, he's because most of the time he's in the boundary. He's he's not going anywhere faster. That's why we say curl to flat. Plus, he's already lined up in the curl if you got yeah. seven by three. Swing deep, a two. two. Because you have to, the wayside corners post all day. What if what if number two runs a wheel? He's not going to get a he is not going to get a wheel call. Right. Nobody. So now if two, whether it's a back, whether it's a tight end, matter. He's post all day. Drops to his flat. Guy runs through it. Go. Guy goes vertical. Linebacker has him. Gotcha. Where he's set again. The weakness. What's that safety doing if you're getting two verticals there? I mean that corner. He is going to try. He's going to he's going to zone turn. And then linebacker's got to buy him time, and if the ball's thrown, he's going to break back late. He's going to try to split the difference. Yeah. Obviously, that's the other thing. When they're trying to do it, most of the time, this guy will get outside the numbers. Uh -huh. And that allows you now to come back and a little bit more. Obviously, middle of the field. And, and you don't make a double call. So, I mean, a single call very much. So this is all kind of. 
Yeah, well, that's, that's that's one Mark says. Really, we don't we play two the first day, uh -huh. but then we don't ever do that mm -hmm. to a one back set every game because we're always playing blue back or plus if you come out unless you come out in one back. Okay, but well, it's good for us to know. What's, What's that backers that? What drop, coach? Huh? What's the backers drop underneath? He is, he is, he is vertical of two wall. Just wall two. And in basically wall represents curl for us, because, and this is why we say what we do. Two wall, because he comes up to stop. I'm taking my eyes and my hands to him, because you got it, because you're going to vertically. Mm -hmm. If he works outside, I'm wide my eye, wall to one. Okay. Just like. Our vertical hook, it's our vertical hook off of the staff. Okay. Gotcha. Could you play him in the curl and zoom that weak safety to the flat? Could. It just depends on who it is. Now, see, here's the problem. If you're in a tight call, the Sam linebacker is the Sam linebacker is in the A gap. So you get play, which is the hard part about the two vertical, play action. The reason we just never play this, and this guy probably plays it. Again, not trying to coach it up too much. Mm -hmm. Really, it depends on they're in the middle of the field and what you're getting, like what you get, and they get a feel for it. Again, not trying to, you know, give them a six-inch reach step, and that's why the whole term of how I coach my guys is don't go till you know. Mm -hmm. I can tell them a six-inch reach step. I can tell, them, do I want to work on, do I want to work on right, how my steps are, or do I want to work on playing football? Right. Yeah, she's still rolling. And that's, that's the whole, what you're going to find for me is that I'm not, we want to be technically sound, but the thing is I don't want to spend so much time on being technically sound that I can't, that I, again, what he said about you coach it so much that you can't play. That's why we're an attacking close team, what well, we went from that to a read, because in read, you have, when you're in read, you've got all these different kind of blocks. How do we play a read on a defensive tackle? High hat, low hat, if they block down. If I get around them, I'm backdooring. If I can't, then I'm whipping around. That is the only way. On a safety, I'm a flat, curl flat player. Three step, I don't go till I know, and I'm to try to take away the passing lane. Don't go till I know also means I'm not I'm not dropping anywhere until it clears the first back. Young free safety, I can tell you right now, I'll show you when we get to the screen. Third free safety's only played four days of uh, of, of uh, free safety. He's playing pass before he's playing run. You can see it in right speed. Right. Yeah. Now you watch the starting free safety. His ass ain't moving, and they ha they they ha they're having to count for him on the inside a zone play to the pitch. Right. Okay. Let's go. Now, now, now you now you looking at this like you're seeing this as a one back set tight end flank. Well, when I can, yeah, it, well again you don't it don't matter. It doesn't okay then. Because I'm t I'm looking at this as just one side of the field. A tight end flanker side. Whether this the guy's in well, the that, backfield. That could be formation in the boundary with a wide call read and right. Right now right. you shouldn't call it Sam and Mike. We're right now because we know it's reading left. Mm -hmm. We know this is a wayside linebacker right. with a pro look. You follow me? You can never get a trip slip because if it was a trip slip, that's where we'd be reading. Right. But I guess I'm talking about one back tight end flanker, just like the sets you have yeah. right there. You would still play that. Thing. Would you check three or you would just no. you would still play your coverage? Yep. Now most of the time we won't ever call Robert gets us across the board. Yeah, right. But the first right. day that's we what are. You're to do. When and you come out eleven in. personnel, now New Mexico State, I'll give you a great example. You put that weak safety up here where he can show a smoke. That tied in now in their protection. Days, so yeah. guess what? They, I didn't have to play quarters. Right. My ass showed up here, we got underneath the flat, and got him a check, and we played three on two over here, and you got what you wanted. Now, Rice, okay, mm -hmm. Rice plays a lock call back there. Mm -hmm. And what do they do? They line, and they line up and they line up just like this. If the guy goes vertical or now, it's just like our Bronco call. Only they don't line up deep, they line up out here. We actually call this buzz. He does it, I got him. Because anything outside, I'm going out here. What they're giving up is the comeback route. Because if they go mm -hmm. vertical, he's got him vertical, and this guy's sinking, and there's nobody in the flat. Right. Because Rice don't ever play press. That, so, is, that is their lock call back here. Okay. What you're counting on is that number two not to come out with that weak safety up there versus one back. He's also counting now, on that he's not going to Well, you're going to see. I don't know if you see him. Well, you won't because I don't have practice one. Right, our, right, I understand that. When our offense line. Yes. They can release the tight end run. When our offense lines up the first day in Pasco, they're going to give us this. Mm -hmm. Right. And 
Pat is the way we're going to line up. Since it's a twins, he's going to be on the outside eye, five yards off the line of scrimmage because that's his rule on his side. Because that's how he's outside two safeties line up. Right. Now, is that worth a shit? But the first day, if they go four verticals, and I told them before we even started pass Kelly, or even in meetings before or on the field, they do it, linebacker, we're going to teach you to run vertical. Corner, you're going to have to learn the inside and break leg. Right. Mm-hmm. Are we ever going to play it after today? No. Right. But yeah. I don't get a chance to teach my weak safety to drop at the flat very often versus one back. He doesn't get very much work. So the first day, he doesn't get very much vertical work. Right. Because it don't happen. Now. Because yeah, yeah. So, you're in a different coverage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're always in blue or five or some or man back here. So the biggest thing is the first day, because for me, whether they think so or not, I'm not out there to win or lose pass Kelly. Right. Okay? Yeah. It's like they don't like that half Kelly that we drew up there before mm-hmm. because it's a win-lose situation to them. For me, it's you're throwing more balls, I'm getting more breaks. That is what it is for me. It's, because if I, was, if I was on the offensive side, what I would be teaching versus robber coverage, if I were running an out and curl, which is what robber coverage is built for, I'd be teaching my quarterback to throw the outside shoulder away from the robber, and I'd be teaching my wide receiver to work back outside and beat the coverage instead of just running out and curl. You follow what I'm saying? Right, yeah. And that's what, what we're going to teach this coverage for, just like you guys do. We're going to teach this coverage because I need to put this in the first day, yeah. not because it's what we're going to play on a daily right. basis. It's a great stress teacher. I mean, you, you know, you've well, it's the worst thing. Again, yeah, pra- they practice thing. worse in life. Because what are you going to do if they came out and you called cover? Let's just say I did call cover two, and that's the running back. Exactly. And they were in right. 20 personnel. Mm-hmm. Now, that's why we call two blue sky, because we'd be back in blue if they come out in this, right. and that was a running back. Right. Mm-hmm. But since I just called two, I got caught, so this is what I got to play. Okay. Take us to another tight end back here. Okay. Automatic sky support. Yeah. Okay. Three by two. Two. Mm-hmm. Rule hadn't changed. All right. <coughs> the corner now. Vertical, he's an inside half, vertical number one, just like he was, man to man clue player. So if he comes up the field, he's got him. He runs a post or whatever. Yep, he's got him. Even if, again, if it's two back boot, because vertical's going sideways. Mm-hmm. Vertical's going sideways, I'd squeeze him unless this guy was real flat, just like the free safety's rule. Mm-hmm. So what I'm getting back to here is whether they're wide receivers or tight receivers, it makes no difference. Okay. The man-to-man clue rules and the vertical rules always stay the same unless you, every once in a while you're going to have an exception, but usually it's by game plan that that happens. Because if you want to see crossing routes, you wait till you see the man we got now that came from the Dolphins. Yeah. They're uh, picking in crossing routes. I mean, I see. Okay. Now, out of our back, you would squeeze that if it went behind the linebackers, just like you just said. Correct? Well, if, he, if it went up to eight. If it went up to eight, okay. Because what the linebacker is going to do, play action, okay, pass shows, linebacker opens. Just like he did when it was a pro set. Okay? He opens, the guy tries to work, I'm going to work, I'm going to try to work him in my wall. Free safety's checking twin guy, he doesn't go vertical. He's checking. I'm looking head. for that tight end coming. Yep. So I got a guy over the top and I got a guy looking for him. Yep, and he's looking for swing deep too. Front side backer that there. That will come Green down. Side middle back. drop, he's the middle drop guy. Middle Boot drop. Boot happens, start to drop. Pull the chain. He's no matter separate. who you're playing. No matter who we're playing. Okay. Okay, you can. Now, that corner sounds like it's a lot easier for the linebacker. No, it's the like. easiest coverage package in life for linebackers because they don't walk out and the rules stay the same. What? I'm sorry. I was just saying that weak safety is getting a hard run at it. Yeah. Okay. You may lose him. Is that backside corner going to check that number two coming out on the vertical? No, because here's the key. He's reading the tight end hardball. Tight end release. Weak safety better not be going anywhere. Yeah. Let me tell okay. you, he's key. Okay, he's key now. He's key now. He's key. Now, no, I'm not. We always end man to quarterback. Okay. So we're looking through it again. I'm going to do it in that diamond drill. On three by three. Yep. In three by three, he releases right now. He don't because you got a seven technique. That diamond drill is like what I'm talking. Right. I talked about. Right. I did all the time. Uh-huh. Triangle drill. Yeah, 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 it's a triangle. Yeah, that's what okay. Okay. He releases. I don't go anywhere. Okay. Okay. If he blocked and they were trying like get trying to get, I teach this guy he blocked and this guy tried to then run by me, then I'm gonna tackle his ass. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 That's a good point. Let's say you were getting the power right there, tight end down blocks. Am I aggressive? Am I'm going in there. Am I? Yeah. I'm, where am I trying to? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to dot the eye. I don't try to keep my outside arm free. I'm gonna try to dot the eye. Right. Biggest thing in this whole defense 
means I'm going to try to hit him head up and then keep outside leverage with my arm. Okay. I don't want to come in like an old outside linebacker where I came in and embrace this. Okay. Now you'll see him do it, okay. but that's not that's not. And that's really the only time your corner better be ready to fit up in there and run, right? That is, and again, because it's a sky look, outside guy, he's pitch, I'm quarterback, if yeah. option shows up back here. All right, now the next thing there is uh, um, on that corner, what do we say, seven yards deep, right. inside shoulder or outside shoulder, dependent. Am I flat footing? Yes. Okay. If the tight end blocks. Because I'm nothing more than a free safety. Basically, it's like a free safety. Back there. So my flat foot and no do yeah. I go? Yeah, but we put him in a we put him in a corner stance and then what happens is he's he's reading tight end right now. If tight end starts. In other words, stop. Nothing against Willie. It's our corners have been little tiny guys, but we'll have hard run at us and anytime we're on the backs, a lot of times our corners are backing out of there. No, we won't do that. And then you know they're coming up a little bit late. Not the older guys. In fact that was the first, that was, that is something though that do because that's what they do all the time. This is one thing that the corner coach had, he works on because that's all he had, you know. Really, this is the only run force deal that he ever really has to work on besides the crap rule. Right. He just has to work on this because of that's the only time he really gets caught up in all this. And just to, not, not getting off the tra track, but when you do work at, is there a time when your corner coach goes and works with the weak safety on a, on that particular thing? No, we have never. He's usually just used his corner and put an outside corner up there. And, and he has to work power? where it's read, and then this where he has to fill up inside. But that's why when we get into the rest of our coverages, like blue and quarters, uh -huh. why we never ever have it like this if there's an eye-back situation. Because, it's, you want because we never trained the corner to be that guy. Two back, we always will check sky and put the corner back. Always. We never put the corner up. The corner on the back right. side, now the twins, will always be right here. Right. Whether you said five sky or, or blue sky, it's going yeah. to be a sky versus yeah. an upside tight end. Unless it's third and ten, like aim, uh -huh, aim, uh -huh. and you know, in third and ten, they were running the ball. Then. So I call five solo, and we'll get back here. I'm not calling sky, and I'm getting back here. All right. Okay. All right. Um, any other points you want to make on? I think we need to break here and go to dinner. Only thing probably we need to do is talk about trips. So about then, trips then, 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 Robert coverage is done. Okay. Okay. Yep. Trips. So we got to talk. talk um, Read side of trips, correct? Correct. And then also away side. So if you called cover two, and, and it's not going to matter whether we call two, blue, or five, okay? <coughs> whether you motioned out of the backfield of trips, or you lined up in trips, or came any kind of getting the trips, our family check for any of these three coverages on the read side, okay, is check roll. Okay, wait a minute. Check. Seven, green, and. And I think that's a deep call for you. Okay. Right? Okay. It, we'll tell you. Okay. Well, listen. Doesn't to matter you. any kind of trip. Number one, as soon as this side check roll, okay. Okay. You gotta understand this side back here is playing the coverage that was called. So in this case, we we're just playing cover two. Right. So back here, this side back here is in cover two. So who is weak safety got swing deep over here? Two. Two. Which is the back. Right. Okay. Yep. Linebacker, the waist side linebacker has vertical of two. Vertical also. Okay. Still a pitch player because he's a force player. Right, right. Not a great, not a great coverage versus trip four again a four mm -hmm. wideout type situation here. Mm -hmm. But first off, linebacker changes because his number three changed. Okay. He's not a tight end. If this was a tight end, it would have to change much. Right. Now it is. He has to split the difference. And usually, I think Mark uses the tackles outside foot rule. Mm -hmm. Take away the hot, still defend your gap. Okay. Now, will he ever do anything to help defend this gap? Say he has a Tell the guy to go in there. Yeah. Uh, we have done it. We don't do it as a general okay, gotcha. rule. With this, and I, with this, and I thought we were going to get that, I could call a Tim call Okay. to where I got double twos, and then you didn't have to worry about it. Yeah, when I ran, ran this a little bit at Pitt, anytime that guy had a wide net, that guy was a three technique, he would make a, what, what do you guys call it when he goes inside? A tag. tag. He, he just say Here's tag. a kicker to that. Most of the time with four wideouts, we're canceling gaps anyway. Either we're slanting or we're twisting because we know we're going to be in a five-man-in-the-box type situation somehow. Okay, i got to write that note down. Any, any four wide receivers you are usually slanting or, or twist. twisting? Yep, at least one side or the other or both sides. Gary, he's not going to guide the tackle's foot. That's no, he could. Point. It just depends on the split. He just okay. knows. Now, what happens now is when we check roll, 
And this is why I told you that I'm not going to call blue quarters. Because roll is our true quarters. Right. Meaning we're both going to be back pedal players. Right. Okay? Okay, no, wait a minute. Go ahead now. Okay. Look safety, look safety alignment. His alignment is the same, one by seven on number one. Okay. Strong safety alignment comes out, counts out in, outside in, so he's lined up on number two. Same alignment. Yep. Okay. The only difference is now we haven't talked about blue yet, but he is going to play like blue. Instead of running the flat right Real now, flat. he is going to beat on number two, not to allow three verticals to stay on the same level. Yeah. But in roll, it's just like cover two. If option would show this way, I am the pitch player, I am the quarterback player. Okay? Now, what rolled us for the read side linebacker, okay, it now tells him he has not had he does not have vertical of three any longer. Okay. I am just a wall player. <laughs> I will whoa, carry whoa, my, let me go back one second. What's your free safety lineman? He will split the difference between two and three and then take a step to the inside to three because that's the nearest threat. Okay. Twelve yards deep. And I don't know why, but my older free safety started to get up where he's starting to play at 10, which makes him about 12 because these guys are off the line of scrimmage. Exactly. But he, like, you know, older players get more confidence, they start playing a lot tighter than this thing. Okay, gotcha. Okay? Now, going from the outside, inside, still, because in roll, swing deep to three, just like in cover two. Oh, same thing yeah. here? Yeah. Right side safety, swing deep to three. Okay. Okay? If everybody goes vertical, you know, obviously, how they're going to do it. The way you want to do it is zone turn. Okay. Try to split the difference. He's got a back pedal weave on the shortest throw. What you're trying to do is work inside out. You want him to throw the outside throw. That's right. Now, we don't throw play roll very often, but it's a great changeup because most of the time we know they're in this and we got a solo or something to kind of check this playing with this uh -huh. thing. But that's the way we would play this. Now, no, not counting what number one did. If either two or three does not go vertical, they sit down. They sit down. So let's just say they're going to spread out. <coughs> and number two, three runs a five yard out. Okay. I started in a back pedal, and I set it down, and I'm looking to two, and I'm robbing it. You're back to robbing. So now they run the sail route. I'm robbing this. Now what happens is roll as the corner plays it like cover two. He's a man-to-man -man clue player. So if you got this and you got a post route, he has post all day. That is, that is us. Now let's just go back before it was trips. If it was twins or pro, that's strong safety. If he gets sprint out, is he doing the same? He goes to the flat right now. Flat right now. So that's normal old Robert cover. Yep. Yeah. Flat here, right now. And that's here, if he got sprint out, does he go to the flat, flat right, right now? now? Flat right now. Okay. Now you're hanging in the curl because you don't really have anybody there. If, Who's hanging in the curl? What well, you're you're giving up the curl kind oh, of because right. of, of running to it. Right. Unless they did something like they spread it out and they gave you it so that you could have a guy in the curl, but I mean they may do right. something where they go. Sure. Right. They run this now. See, they got you by. And he's got to, now. What has curl. to happen is, curl. which this is this is roll yeah. beater. This is quarters beater right here. Vertical, with a, you know, basically the same thing as beating three deep with out and curl. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, so what's got to happen here is what's the corner got to say? In. Yeah. Yeah. So that tells the strong safety as he sees the out to kind of hang and break late on and the then break late. Gotcha. Rolls can go back to the same way it always has gone. Gary, does that read backer, if three's running that little out route, does he keep pushing with him? Or just, or Depends how you want to if play. If it's not sprint out, coach. If it's not sprint out, then what he does is dope just exactly what we just talked about before. Crap, he winds his wall. Two winds went away, so the other backer now is, no, no, two came. This way, yeah. he's now opening up his, three vert, his two vertical. Oh, straight back. Okay. Gotcha. Again, you've got your field placement again. Okay. The only difference is, you don't know what that guy had, what that guy did in the deal. And once a whole lot of whole lot of deep because you're usually going to have something that's good. usually the time we get caught in deep is we don't is if they motion to something quick. What you're not getting three verticals usually you're getting some good outside combination or you're getting run. Uh huh. Which now you're sitting looking at and you're playing run hard. No, our check would be deep. So that free safety sees that guy st start the motion out there. He says deep, 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 deep. Now how about an offset back? 20 personnel. When he, go ahead. When, when if there are two trips, back. I guess is what I'm asking. Sorry. On this, he stays inside the tackle. Right. We, we all trips. Okay. He gets outside. He gets to where it's a slot like this. We consider trips okay. unless that, so they don't ever do anything with him. Then we 
game plan, we wouldn't deal with him like that. Okay. Gotcha. Sorry, Willie, go ahead. That's what I was going to ask. Okay. All right. That's, that's us. Just we say learn, learn, just learn, learn, let me ask you this question. Let's say learn trips, and then they motion the guy that's back. That's exactly what I was going to ask. Go back to two. Go back to four. Okay, so give me the verbiage. Here you go. You got... Roll, roll. read left. Read and left, oh, you said the coverage well, first? Well, read and left, check, roll, whatever. Read and left, you always got to say read and left. Read and left? Re roll. Roll, 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 roll. And they go in motion. Check two. You're already reading left, so you don't All have right. to say it. Check two. Gotcha. And the nice thing about it, really, they're, they're already in check two anyway. Okay. Last so if question, two or three man. doesn't go vertical, then you're back to around the coverage. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So the corner, so two corner, and three, both of them? Both of them. Two or three. Doesn't. Right. Doesn't go they vertical. Can't. If one of them goes, you can't do it. Like you've got to play. You got to play. Then you, let's say number three ran the out and number two went vertical. You played number two, two vertical. Right. Yes. You already got them drawn up for a proceeding. You need to write it up. <laughs> you know, I've done this forever. The robber part. If you ever got something where that guy went way out there. Would you ever go read right on that? In the middle of the field, probably what he would do is he would go freeze. You go freeze. Okay. Just like you, just like you put the formation in. What does freeze night. mean to these guys? Nothing. Nothing. We're playing Nothing. cover two, and then he's he just going to make sure we can get back in the huddle. Okay, gotcha. And then, but again, you go back to most of the time we're double calls, so we go back to a bronco call. What's freeze? What's freeze? What's freeze? Could be say check three if you wanted to. Check tall. Oh, solid. Yeah, yeah, solid. Yeah, except, yeah, except the other guys are doing the same thing. They're not playing three deep across the board. Yeah, no, nope, these guys aren't. The rest right. playing Robert coverage. Right. Yeah. That's right. Now, I missed it with early, early with the with the regular Robert coverage. If if one comes in on a curl, that corner's going to make an in 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 call. And sink. And and if number two could be outside. If two goes out. out to the flat, is the strong safety going to? Hang in the curl. Or he, or well, free safety is going automatically. Now he might, with an in call, he could hang a little bit, but on the read side, on the read side, the read side safety is flat right now. Then he hears it. He'll more work more outside in than inside out. Yeah. Okay. Because the reason we went to this, we used to hang both guys. Yeah. And we were getting beat to the field side out all the time because we're trying to work curl the flat. Yeah. So why it changed was, well, why why don't we just start? Because we got a curl player, we got the free safety. Yeah. So when we have it on the reach side, let's go flat right now. Right. And that's what we did. So when he gets the end call, he's initially thinking, I gotta come back in. He's got that I, gotta, I gotta hold off the throw. Yeah. But he's also saying two go to the flat right now. Which he yes. And Cotton. one of the things I you drill into right, the right other on a piece of paper is to tell them anytime to there's Gary something underneath you. Left them went to dinner. Charge. At uh, and seven always forty-five, yes. we'll be back at always nine thirty, maybe. Are you guys going to be able to come back? Two in, three out, two. Jim, uh, if if two is in, three is coming out, and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Two in, you mean out. as far as well, especially the crossing right. when you're reading two and stuff. Yeah. You know, as yeah. I get an older free safety, sometimes game plan dinner. with Robert. Robert, sometimes when number two goes in, I actually like teach the free safety to look back across the field and rob the net. The other guy right. coming from that I was going to ask you that. But and I don't do that. Do you, change his, do you change what that robber is doing depending on what the team is doing? But I just, I don't try to mess with that too much until I get a more experienced guy because go back to that old way we used to call 3 deep. You know, you played 11 games, you kind of tinkered with it to handle things. At the end of the 11 games, no one knows how you play 3 deep. <laughs> You know, so do you play some 3D, 3D one? Yeah, we, I got some 3D cutoffs, but not usually across the board. Most right. of it's three on one side and right. on quarters or halves or something. So it's basically three strong or three weak. Mm -hmm. On that one side, are you pattern reading it? 3D, having pattern read. Three spot dropping. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, we're going to try to do that. No more